In this video, we are discussing basics of MapReduce algorithm. What are the main components in MapReduce and what is the operation is going to take place. So let us go for further discussion on it. So here we are having the mapper class, also we are having the reducer class. The output of mapper class will be the input to the reducer class. The mapper class is taking the input and ultimately from the reducer class we are having the output formed. And these inputs and outputs will be in the form of key value pairs. This mapper class will do the tokenizing input, mapping and shuffle and short. And here this reducer will do the searching and reducing operations. So these are the main prime operations in mapper class and these are the two operations to be done in the reducer class. So different tasks in map reduce algorithms. So let us discuss more into details. The map reduce programs have two tasks, the map task and the reduce task as it has been shown here. The map task is done by the mapper class and the reduce task will be done by the reducer class. So this is the map task done by the mapper class, reduce task will be done by the reducer class. Mapper class takes an input, tokenizes it and maps and shorts it. You can find that map class or the mapping class is taking one input, tokenizing it and doing the shuffling and short. So the mapper class takes the input, tokenizes it and maps and shorts it. The output of the mapper class is used as the input to the reducer class as I have mentioned earlier, which in turn searches the matching pairs and reduces them according to the business logic whatever is required the respective outputs will be obtained and respective customized function will be working at the reducer class for the reducing operation. MapReduce task example. So one of the most fundamental MapReduce example is word count problem. This word count problem is something like our hello world problem in MapReduce. So it takes the string with different words as input and counts the number of words in of each type and let's see how the mapper class and reducer class work for this task. So a string will be taken as input and then it will count the number of distinct words in that particular string and that is known as a word count problem. The mapper class tokenizes the strings and makes a shorted list of the words and it makes the words as the key and the number as the value. So word will become the key and the number that means the frequency of occurrence that is a number that is a count will be the value in that case. The reducer class takes the list and count the number of entries of each word in the input which is the output from the mapper. So the reducer class takes the list and counts the number of entries of each word. It will check that how many times one word has occurred. Finally creates another list with key and their respective values that is the count values that means number of times for which the word has occurred in the sentence. So here is one example for your better understanding. So here you see there is one sentence is there, one input is there that is our a duck is a bird. We have taken a very simple example. So mapper class here we are having take line from the input and tokenize it and for each word in the line emit word comma one. So that is a it will create such tokens here. For each and every word in the sentence, it will go for emit word comma one. So in this way, it will produce output like a comma one, duck comma one, is comma one, a comma one, and bird comma one. So that is the mapper output. Next, it is going for the shorted output. So now it, it has got shorted in the alphabetical order. So a a b d i. So in the alphabetical order, on the keys, the the corresponding shorted output has been obtained. Now remove duplicate keys. So here you can find that A has occurred for twice. So that is why the key, the key A has got removed here and rest of them are unique. So no elimination was taking place. So now this, this output will be going as the input to this reducer class. So reducer class is having one algorithm something like this. So reducer key comma values. So sum is equal to 0 for each value in key sum is equal to sum plus value and emit key comma sum. So in this way where it is taking the key values as input and emitting the key sums as output and that is also a key value pair. So A will become will have the sum 2, bard 1, 
duck comma one and we are having is comma one so that is the final output which will be obtained so from this example there is a word count example it is getting cleared what is the purpose what are the operations are being done in the mapper class and also in the reducer class map reduce task example let the string is a duck is a bird it has five words and the input is given as input to the input of the mapper class so at first this input will be taken by the mapper class and mapper will generate the key value pairs after that reducer takes it as input and find final word count and the output in this way the final word count will be obtained as the output so in this video we have discussed what is the basics of map reduce algorithm with details discussion and with some sample examples thanks for watching this video